walk in a light as he is in a light. Amen? Yet walk in a dark. We lie and we do not have the truth if we do not walk in a light. But if we walk in a light as he is in a light, we have fellowship with one another. Say, if we are walking in a light, we have, we've got fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. This is a very important principle. As we walk in a light, we have fellowship with one another. And as, as we have fellowship with one another, his blood cleanses us from all sin. Give Jesus a hand. The blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. Let me tell you, if you do not walk in the light, you do not have fellowship with one another. The blood of Jesus, you will not experience the cleansing purification of his blood. If you single yourself out and you say, I am not belong to a church anymore, you are not fellowshipping with one another, his blood is not cleansing you because there is no, is there blood outside of a body? Huh? Did you see blood drifting around here? Where is the blood? It's in a body. In the body of Jesus, there's blood. The blood of Jesus is available to us in the body of Jesus. Do you see any blood drifting around here? As we walk in the light, meaning that we love the rest of the body of Jesus, we love other Christians. We do not criticize them. We do not hate them. We walk in the light, not in darkness. In him there is no darkness at all. Then we will have fellowship with one another. And the blood of his son purifies us from all sin. I can make a statement. I can say a person who is not walking in fellowship with the church of Jesus, here the Bible says he has no fellowship with, he does not have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus does not purify him. Now you can reason, you say, but what is the church? Well, very clear. There's God plant the churches. God plants a church. Or he plants a congregation, which is part of the rest of the church, which is the body of Jesus. You know, some people come here, they say, I ask them, are you married? No, I'm not married on paper. I'm married before the Lord. Well, then you're not married. No, 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 I'm married before God. We're married before God. You're a liar and a foolish cheat. You live in adultery, man. No, we married before God. It is not the law that marry us. You know, God acknowledges the laws of this country. I'm not married according to paper. God doesn't worry about the paper. <laughs> God acknowledges the laws of this country. If you don't acknowledge them, God will not acknowledge you. Because he appointed the government and he appointed the laws. I mean, so pay a la bola and get married there, but also do it legally. I mean, according to the law of this country. I mean, don't take so long to pay off. I mean, give God a hand. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, walk in the light, my friend, as he is in the light. In him there is no darkness at all. Love your brother. As you, now the same here, that's what I want to say. The same, that people got that attitude. No, brother, we don't belong to a church, you know. The church of Jesus is not, we don't belong to a specific church, you know. They got that attitude. It's just as the people say, no, we, we're not married uh, legally, but we married before God. Say to the to don't talk nonsense. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't belong to a church, you don't fellowship with the church of Jesus, you don't fellowship with the brothers and sisters, and you separate yourself from the church, you say don't belong to a church, you do not have fellowship with the church. And the blood of Jesus does not purify you of your sin. Where is the blood of Jesus? In the body of Jesus. Give him a hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to this. I like this. When we have fellowship with one another and we walk in a light, the blood of his son purify us from all sin. What does that word all mean? Say all sin. All Say all sin. all sin. And if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves. 
and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, say repentance is necessary. Confession, after you repented, you turn around and live another life, you need to confess your sin as you go on in the Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen? So if we see, say we do not do anything wrong, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins. Say, He will. And purify us from all, all unrighteousness. Say, purify me from all unrighteousness. The one who covered up his own sin, he will go down. All victory starts with honesty. I don't like mistakes, but if I commit mistakes, which I do, I confess them quickly to my wife and to those around me. Hallelujah. My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. Say, this is God's will. But if anyone does sin, we have one who speaks to the Father in our defense, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the, he is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Say, atoning sacrifice for our sins. And not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world, if they will accept him. So if they only accept him, we know that we have come to know him. Listen, when do you know that you have come? I like this one very much. Oh, Jesus. I like this. This knocks all false doctrine. Lord, I love your word. We know that we have come to know him if we obey his commands. Give him hand. How do you know that you really know God now? If you discover that by His grace and mercy, you are keeping His commands. This is not your effort. Then you know that you know Him and that His grace and mercy is actively at work in your life. Give Jesus a hand. Many people are saved, but they do not really know Him. What do I mean they do not really know Him? Because His grace which they speak about and the mercy which they speak about is not evident in their lives. That means they are safe, but they do not know Him. By this we know that we have come to know Him if we keep His commandments. This is a sign that we have come to know Him. Now, many people, you don't think with your mind. Think in the spirit. Say, Lord, give me your spirit. The spirit of understanding. By keeping his commandments, it's a sign that his grace and his mercy is actively at work in my life. When you do not keep his commandments, that is a sign, sad to say, that his grace and mercy is not evident in your life. Although it is available to you, it is not actively and evident in your life. I love you, Jesus. I love your spirit. I love your word. I love your ways. I love you, Jesus. I love your spirit. I love your word, I love your way.